giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archived FIRST Robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Welcome to the week three recap. This week, we've got some nice weather, some nicer robots, and of course, some upsets, some defense, and some snow. Reporting for first updates now, I'm Audrey. I'm Ben. I'm, I'm Sam. And I'm Connor. So first up, we have a giveaway for this show, thanks to Redfish Robotics. Uh, we have some awesome, fun logo mugs. So let's bring on producer Tyler to talk more about what that is and how you can win. Yeah, thanks, Audrey. So, yeah, uh, Redfish Robotics has uh, made some first updates now mugs that they're going to be giving away uh, during all of our region recap shows. Uh, so make sure you go and check them out as well at tinyurl.com forward slash Redfish Robotics. And that will be your opportunity to check out both the fun mug and all the uh, mugs that Redfish Robotics sells. Uh, so we're just going to start these giveaways right away uh, during the show. So if you're interested in winning this, please make sure you click the follow button. If you like to have five times luck, you can subscribe and you'll have five times chance to win this. And uh, the keyword for this one is just going to be fun mug, one word, F-U-N-M-U-G. And we'll run this uh, throughout the rest of the show, and we'll draw for a giveaway a little bit later on. So once again, fun mug is your opportunity, uh, just like Audrey uh, put into chat there. And good luck with, with winning, and let's have fun during the show, everybody. All right, so if you are going to the New England District Championship this year, we are excited we, as in New England First, are excited to announce that we are accepting presentation proposals for the first ever New England District Championship Conference on Friday, April 12th at WPI. We are looking for presentations on topics of interest to FRC teams, students, coaches, mentors, educators, parents, and prospective leaders. You may present individually or as part of a group in either a 20-minute TED Talk style or a 50-minute presentation for those who wish to go more in-depth. Think you have a topic worth sharing to the community? Consider signing up, but you better hurry. All applications must be submitted by Saturday, March 23rd. That's this weekend. And if you don't know how to read a calendar, that's week four of competition. <laughs> uh, that's relatable. Uh, so with that, uh, <laughs> let's, get into, let's get into some of those teams that could qualify for that uh, any district championship event. Uh, starting off in southern New Hampshire. Sure. So we had 38 teams take the field in Bedford, New Hampshire, and battle through 74 qualification matches. It was Team 133, Burt, Bonnie Eagle Robotics team, who would take the number one seed and select number four, 319, Big Bad Bob. The 25th seed, eight, Team 885, the Robovines, would round out the alliance. The number one seed fought hard against the number eight seed, made up of 1517, the Lumberjacks. 6811, the Gunnery Gears, and 138 Entropy. Number one seed easily won their matches 2 0 and advanced to the semis, where they would meet the number five alliance of 213, the Dirty Birds, 131 Chaos, and 3623 Terrorbots. This was not an easy alliance to face, especially with a relentless defense of 3236. However, the number one seed won both matches by the skin of their teeth. The first match had a three-point difference, and in the second match, A85 broke down and was substituted for backup robot 6434, the Blue Devils, due to some mechanical issues. That match had a four-point difference. The finals. And I gotta say, if you were not at this event, you missed out big time. But if you were, wow, what a show. We had the number one seed face the number two seed, who is made up of 1922 Osram, 1729 Team Inconceivable, and 1277 The Robotomies. Finals match one ended as a tie, dead 77 to 77, the first and only tie of the event. Finals match two was won by the two seed, and finals three was won by the number one seed. Finals four, this is where it all ended. Unfortunately, 1729's cargo manipulator broke, which allowed the number one seed to win the match and win the event. 
During our award ceremony, Team 1729 took home their first ever Engineering Inspiration Award. In 1735, the Green Reapers took home their second Chairman's Award wing. Now, let's get some double silver cling bling and chat for 1729, Team Inconceivable. Now we're going to talk about the craziest event in FMA this weekend, Springside Chestnut Hill. Springside Chestnut Hill was arguably the most competitive event in all of FRC this weekend. No, the event only had 31 teams. Everyone there came to play. The average match score was third, was 59.23. It was the highest of all events this weekend in quals. The HAB docking RP was achieved a whopping 66.13% in all matches. The teams here really came to play. Qualification rounds were super intense and very competitive, with the number one seed shifting between multiple teams over the course of the event. 103, 2539, 2168, and 5404 were all in contention for the top spot. With their super consistent climb and strong scoring ability, 2539, the Krypton Cougars seeded first for the second time this season after they did it at Hatboro Horsham, picking local powerhouse 225 as the number one selection. They picked 2095, direct current, to round off the alliance. They were knocked out in the semifinals due to strong defense by the number five seed. The number two seed was captained by 5404, the Gear Afts, who had previously seeded first at the West Town event and did not handle hatch panels, but had a level three climb and were very good at handling cargo on the first level. They selected the New England Powerhouse Team 2168, the Aluminum Falcons, to join them and 1495, the Red Devils, to round out the alliance. They breezed through their matches to the finals, where they took on the number five seed and secured the win. Along the way, they secured the event high score of 96 points. Congrats to these teams, as well as 708 for their well-deserved Chairman's Award. And for those who don't know, the Mid-Atlantic District is basically run on the back of 708. Um, this is 2168's second Chestnut Hill win and 1495's third, which has all been from the second seat alliance. When you consider that you know the Springside Chestnut Hill event's only been around since 2012, they got a pretty great record winning from the number two pick there. So congrats to 1495, 2168, and 5404 as well. Absolutely. And for our next event, we travel to SUNY Polytech for the Central New York Regional. Yet again, this was an incredibly stacked event. We have perennial contenders from New England, like 195 and 125. One of the best teams from FMA, 2590, and some of the best lower state teams like 694, 3171, and 329. Oh yeah, we also had a few good teams from actual central New York, like 2791, 3044, and 5030. Let's just name nine teams, and this is only a 30-team event. In the end, 2791 took the top spot and picked the seventh-ranked team, 195, to go through eliminations with. They capped off their alliance with team 395, who many may remember from the book The New Cool. The second alliance, headlined by 694 and 2607, was no slouch, however, though. Finals went to three matches, and despite the awesome double level three hab climb, thanks to 694's awesome suction cup, in the end, 195 and 2791 were just too good, and they squeaked by the second alliance. Big shout out to Team 329 for allowing for getting another well-deserved chairman's win, and 3044 for yet another EI award. So now I'm going to talk about the Bridgewater Raritan event. 35 teams came to compete in Bridgewater, New Jersey, home of local powerhouse 303, the test team. 1676, the Pascac Pioneers claimed the top spot, selecting Team 11, Mort, who now features some new upgrades, and 3340, the Union City Magnegeats, to round out their alliance. 11 had mechanical issues along the way, and 1676 had to call in replacement team 5732, the Robo Tigers, to fill in for 11. Before that point, 1676 actually faced the number four seed, two versus three and one alone. So, you know, props to them for being able to do that. They went on to meet the number two seed in the finals, consisting of Team 56, Roby, 1403, Cougar Robotics, and 4285, the Camelbots. In three tough matches, the number two alliance emerged victorious. 1670, or excuse me, 56 secured a double clingling with their first ever district chairman's award. So uh, congrats to them. They got both golds. Nice. So 
47 teams braved the 60 degree weather. Oh, it was so bad. It was so warm. Um, <laughs> on Thursday afternoon to compete at this year's Finger Lakes Regional in upstate New York. And I know I said some of the numbers last week that I thought were going to be top contenders here, but all of those teams, all of them were thrown for a loop as downstate contender 870 Rice took the hotly contested first seed. Honestly, though, it was a race to the first spot. There were at least four teams vying for it. Uh, 870, 3015, 1551, and 5254. Um, and it was ultimately just fully decided by just three cargo, which was kind of crazy. Uh, they selected team 3015, Ranger Robotics, one of the best teams at the event, uh, to the first seed, and then 271, an 11-wheeled, and yes, that's 11 wheels, five on one side, six on the other, uh, and, and that's on purpose. Uh, they selected them to play defense. Uh, crazy drivetrain. It's like five speed. It's, it's, it's nuts. Uh, they ble- they breezed through limbs to finals where they would face the third seeded 303, 340, and 120, who actually took the first match. Uh, however, the one seed would bring it back and take the regional. Congrats also go out to 2638 Rebel Robotics for the Regional Chairman's Award. Good luck at champs. And real quick, before we get into the top 10, I just want to mention... 870 may have come out of nowhere for some people, but for those from Long Island, 870 has been good for many years. They they really are one of the better teams in Long Island, and just people don't really watch them too much. But they were just waiting for that time to break out, and I'm really happy that this was their year. Yeah, or the robots this super year. good this year. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, moving on to the art top 10 in our region, as voted on by you, the viewers. Reminder, you can vote on this by voting on the top 25 every week, so make sure to do this and get your opinions heard. Our top 10 for this week includes 2791. 195, 694, 870, 340, 125, 319, 1676, 133, and 1922. So I think my pick's kind of obvious being from New England, so I can just show it to you. 195, the Cyber Knights from Southern <laughs> <laughs> That is a... Awesome looking robot. When they posted that, when they posted the picture of the robot the other week, I was just blown away. That turret on their elevator is just so cool. Um, mad props, mad respect to 195. Another awesome robot. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna go far this season again, one for sure. Yeah. So uh, 2791. I love them. They're so good. They're so beautiful. Look at their robot if you haven't already. It's so good. It's one of the best in the world, top five at least. But I mean, who knows if it'll be top 25 or top five. Uh, anyway, um, I think the biggest thing here is uh, where's 3015? They're not on the list. They should be. Uh, they were one of the best robots at Finger Lakes, and they absolutely deserve to be top 10. All right. And um, on my side, I think 1676 is a little low. There's also just an absence of FMA teams in general, unfortunately. But Hey, um, you know, there's uh, a couple teams that we got to call out here that I really think should be on there. 2607s one, 2539, 3015, obviously, like uh, like Audrey talked about, and uh, 2168 isn't present on there. So hey, you know, I hey, you, you know, they're they're not present. So I, I really wish they were, and I, I just got to call out those teams. I think it'd be pretty cool if they were there. Absolutely. And I just have to continue giving a shout out to 694. Again, they've been good for years. They were Alliance captain 2016 on Einstein. But I think this is the year that they really built a robot that can do something that really very few people in the world can do. Um, and I think that them deserving the three spot two weeks in a row um, is, is really awesome. I, I like them there. All right, so going into our week four previews, it is so hard to believe that week four is among us. It only it almost seems like kickoff was just last week. But we have some awesome events coming up for week four competition. So Sam, can you tell us a little about Hudson Valley? I can. And so for the third straight year, teams will be traveling to the Rockland to battle it out. Despite catering to similar geographic areas, HVR is quite a bit weaker than last week's Central New York. The headliners for this event are 1796, 20, 1156, 3419, and 303. Team 5865 is also coming off a finals appearance in Montreal, albeit as a third robot. Outside of there, there is a solid, of, a solid set of historically mid-tier teams like 527, 3950, 4122, and 5016. 3419 in particular has a really cool robot this year that I think will perfectly complement one of the top teams at the event, especially if they continue to tune their vision processing. You can see it on screen, but basically it can move the uh, 
their uh, scoring mechanism to any position they want, and it's all done autonomously. So if they can really make that super fast, I think it's going to be really hard to contend with. But overall, I think it'll be a fun event with a lot of uncertainty once we get to third picks as the field seems relatively weak. Oh, Sonic. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Seneca <laughs> is full of great teams. Almost all are playing for their second time and are part of FMA's Central New Jersey and Philadelphia contingent where the floor is very low, so it should be a very competitive event. Uh, expect significant improvements from all the teams for their from their first plays. Some of the teams to highlight include uh, 203, the Superbots, uh, 272, the Cyber Crusaders, uh, 341, Miss Daisy, uh, 384, the Spartex, 1640, Sabotage, 1712 Dogma, uh, 1807 Redbird Robotics, who came off their, their recent uh, number one pick, and 5895 Petty School Robotics. Going over to the Greater Boston District event, we are looking at Team 125, the Neutrons. They are looking to rake in a lot of district points this week after a slow start at the Southeast Mass Week 2. They also competed in Central New York this past weekend, where they showed a lot of improvement. So watch out for them as they try to secure the number one seed. This event also features winners of the Granite State District event, 5687 The Outliers. Who knew vacuums were so cool, right? They also are looking to secure the number one seat, but who knows? Maybe 125 and 5687 will reunite for the first time since their 2017 Carson Divisional win. Good luck to all teams competing. I will be at the event debuting as my, in my first ever MC position. <laughs> That's going to be fun. <laughs> Anyway, now going down a little more southeast, or southwest, sorry, we are going to the Rhode Island District event. We don't have any rookie teams at this event, which is very unusual. We have two teams that were not only number one seed at their first event, they also won their events. That's right, Team 78 Airstrike and 133 Burt are both gunning for the top seed. However, I wouldn't be surprised if they pair up with each other. We also have 78's first pick from Southeast Mass, Team 2168, the Aluminum Falcons, who are coming off a win from the Mid-Atlantic. Lastly, we have 1153, Walpole Revolution, who had a very impressive run at Southeast Mass. Good luck to all teams competing at Ride this weekend. So let's talk about Western New England here. Uh, we're into week four at this point, just about the middle of gameplay. So that means that we're going to see 195 get good at this event. Uh, they're fresh off qualifying for champs at the Central New York Regional last week. Uh, so really, it'll be down to a few teams to compete for who's going to be that first pick. But of those who have already played, teams 176, Aces High, and team 230, the Gale Hawks, look to be the prime contenders. Be sure to tune in and to come experience what's predicted to be a temperature higher than freezing in New England. All right, so... Before we wrap up here, uh, we're actually going to draw for the winner of the fun logo mug giveaway. So, Tyler, let us know who's the winner. Yeah, we'll go ahead and draw for that. Once again, if you're interested in getting in, make sure you type in the fun mug. This is your last chance. And make sure you go check out tinyurl.com forward slash redfish robotics if you want more mugs uh, that are not just the first update style mug, uh, but they have a bunch of others you can check out as well. So, with that said, the uh, winner of this drawing and don't forget by the way we're doing one of these on each half hour show so stick if you didn't win now we'll either go buy it which you can do uh or uh you have an opportunity to win several more tonight and i think we're doing this for a few weeks because redfish is awesome but the winner for tonight oh my goodness you know what <laughs> i messed up something so if everybody could just spam fun mug in as quickly <laughs> as possible right now I or night bots messed up. <laughs> One of the two things are happening right now. So, so I'll tell you what we'll do because I like to make sure. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Was... <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, everybody. We'll let that run for about thirty seconds since we got a couple minutes, anyways. Uh, I mean, so... I'll take it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so... So while that happens, uh, I'm going to let this run for about sixty seconds. So we'll just kind of delay here for a second. So just to ask you guys here, uh, looking at a gameplay. Uh, is there anything that you think week four that there's going to be a robot that's kind of debuting week four, kind of back week four that could really potentially change the gameplay a little bit or anything that might kind of, kind of stand out differently to y'all? Well, 195 is about to get good. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's that point in the season, you know. Uh, they were um, very, very upwardly trending, like steep upward curve at Central New York. So now they're just going to be completely dominant and we're going to see what 
a kind of team that can do that, like do that sort of thing at a competition is going to be like. Um, I think uh, on the Mid Atlantic side, I think we're going to see sixteen forty get a lot better at Seneca. For the whole New York side, I think the b- debut of seventeen ninety six is going to cause some ripples. They always have a great robot every year. Oh yeah, I'm super excited for that. They're mm-hmm. always hush hush, no reveal video, no leaks, and then they come out and storm the competition. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing seventy eight um, compete again. They're they're always a good team. Um, looking to they're i'm pretty sure they'll pull off a win but you know uh my my track record of being right isn't always the best but um (laughs) (laughs) so all right yeah so now we got enough entries so we can go ahead and do this now uh (laughs) so the winner of uh this fun mug giveaway is going to be uh jacob liu 1239 so congratulations uh if you do win lots of rigged emotes in chat by the way uh, also, I love how the Will I Am uh, somebody just describes the Will I Am being bleeped out came up right as that person won, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so do me a favor if you do win, please make sure you shoot first updates not PM either on here or on Discord. Uh, we need your uh, mailing address, which means your name, your address, your city, all that stuff as well. So congratulations! All right, so that about wraps us up for this week. Thank you to everyone who has watched. If you want for more first robotics in your life and like what we do, all that we ask is that you let others know about this show and that this is the place to go for more FRC in their lives. If you got a few bucks to share, we appreciate it. But if not, we totally understand and are delighted to have you on board. On behalf of myself, Ben, Connor, Sam, and our producer, Tyler, I'd like to thank you for tuning in and thank you to all of our moderators in chat. Stay tuned for a bit after this to get behind the bumpers with one of the fast, low-scoring robots from Finger Lake this week, this past weekend, Team 5254 Hype. And then after that, our next show is the Sweet Tea Recap. We'll see you next week on the Nor'easter Region Recap. Ooh. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.